The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to go over some trades today. Unfortunately, they're going to be losers, but this is how you learn. This is what didn't turn out. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, it's a scam call. Just a minute. Let me turn this off. How did a scam ever get in on me? That never happens. Okay, uh, this is basically an hourly chart on the uh, E-mini um, uh, it's not E-mini, excuse me, the Treasury bonds. What we were looking at, folks, let me get rid of this uh, cycle finder thing because it's no longer valid. Uh, hold on one second here and just get it out of the way. Here's what we were looking at today. We had an absolute beautiful A, B, C, D pattern right up here. Just, just did everything that it could possibly do. There's your A, B leg, right? There's your C, D leg. Our, our number here was at uh, to sell it at uh, 119. Uh, 19 and there was the high was 119.22 just get down to a really short time frame you'll see what happened is we we had a pretty good break there see that's a $600 break and then from then we put our stop at our well put our stop in at 17 to to, to protect our profit uh, and which we did of two ticks and then of course it still goes sharply to the upside the only thing that I could have done differently today is to look to see if this low here was a 382 off of that last low. And there you can see it. There it was right there at 03. And I certainly missed it. Now we're up at this level here. And if we look at this on the daily chart, folks, we're sitting right at the 50% level of this whole move going back to last April, believe it or not. You remember how the bonds were going to go tapioca down here at 106, 107? Here we are at 120, and the whole world wants them. Well, that's the name of the game, folks. <laughs> someday it's chicken salad. Someday it's chicken poop. It depends on how you mix it, and that's the key uh, to looking at it. We got another one here that is in the failure mode. Let's get it up here, right here. This is the cattle market. We've been waiting to buy cattle. We'll get the daily chart up here. You'll see that. As there we are right here. We were looking to buy those down here at the 66 level, and we uh, would have been stopped out right now and you'd be out of that uh, with a loss too because you've already extended it to the downside where does it go from here let's just take a quick look because we've got another one another a b c d here to measure there's the first one right here we've got another one right here because this was the low we rallied up to here that tells us oh dear that's the secret stuff that's in there that, that's nothing more than the old instant map that is no longer functional let's get this up here here's where we are on the daily i want to blow this up and you're going to see why we're going to be coming down here. Another another lower low here. There's our A, B leg right here. And then we came down to this level right here. One Looks like we could get to 161 because we've broken down below all this stuff right here now, folks. So we've got to be really careful. Here's what really bothered me today. I'll show you. We have this move here. You see, I bought them down here. And I, I sold out here. And I sold out here. And what I was looking at today, I thought this bottom was in. I really thought this 167 bottom was going to be in. And then we did this. And right here is where I made a fatal mistake. Because uh, once the market went below this level right here, it told me there was trouble, especially being Friday. And it was still up on the day at that point. And then, of course, it's dropped three cents, which is a huge amount. Uh, I think the limit's four and a half. Uh, in got cattle. So nobody wants to buy beef anymore, folks. And if well, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'll still be nibbling for a bottom. But boy, this is not it right now. 164.50 is a 1.618 of this move. But with the market down this much, I wouldn't touch it from this level uh, right here. That's absolutely for sure. Okay, now the other one, we had a couple others that uh, uh, we broke even in the uh, Treasury bonds. Let me show you another one that I wish I could have had of, had, had I done it the, the correct way. But this is the Treasury bonds. Uh, this is the videos that I send out, folks. I'm just reviewing it for the folks. 
that they can review the videos that I sent out. So here is the daily chart that I sent out right here, and I said there was a chance that we could hold this low right here at uh, 70, uh, 72. Now I'm gonna go down to an eight minute chart so you can see it closely. And there's the level we were looking at, which was right in, right in this level right here. That was at 172. We rallied up to, oh, 60, 70 cents, not much, very much. And then we broke down, and then we had what we love to see is a nice little uh, – let's get this down here so we can see it a little better. We have a nice 382 retracement here, folks, and it immediately drops $2,000 uh, a contract. And uh, I missed it because I hadn't didn't have my order setting in here. But once we took this low out right here at 171 – excuse me, 71.40, that told us that we were going to go down. And look at that. We've had tiny little rallies here, but the rallies are only 20, 30 points, just like we're doing right here. Look at this last little rally off the last high, probably exactly 382. There it is, 382, exactly. This, this market's going to be going lower, and we have Mike Moore as our guest coming on at 130, and this dude's been bearish for a very long time. You remember way back here, just we had him on a couple of weeks ago, and he was bearish up in here. Look at the the move that we had here, which was on uh, last Friday, and look at it now. Or Thursday, this was last Thursday, and now we're just cascading down below the 78% level, and we're going to have to go to a weekly chart just to show you what it's doing. Because look how close we are, folks. Look how close we are, folks, to breaking these weekly lows here at 65. That's only four or five cents from where we are right now per gallon, or four or five dollars per gallon. And if that's the case, holy cow, this was the Ukraine war. Remember when uh, Goldman Sachs told us we were going to uh, 200? Well, didn't quite get there. But anyway, here's where we are. We got the ABCD leg right here. We got the CD leg here. We could, Oh, my God. Could you believe crude oil back to $32? Folks, it could happen. Why not? I mean, it didn't go, you know, we had a war here and it didn't do anything. And now the Saudis are reducing prices because they can't sell what they have. So that's a bad sign, I would think. So let's uh, let's remind ourselves that's what we're paying attention to here as we look at this uh, market here today uh, in the crude oil. Uh, like I mentioned, we will have our good friend, um, Mike Moore is our guest. Let's take a look at the uh, – remember we talked about gasoline yesterday, how weak it was, and I wanted to get that up here to show you the RBOB contract. I'm going to let Mike cover this, but here's where we are right here. Look at – oh, my goodness. This is just falling out of bed here. Gasoline prices. Look at this, folks. There's, a, there's where we were just a couple days ago. We've dropped 15 cents a gallon. And, well, we're getting close to a big ABCD here, but there's a, there's a rally here. We went up here yesterday. Uh, we talked about that when we were on the air, right at the 382, 216, and there we are headed down lower, most probably to this level here, which is going to be the 1.618. We'll draw that in. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here, and there's where we're probably going. Can you believe gasoline under $2 a gallon, folks? We're at 202 now. We've only got four cents a gallon to go. That's almost a home run, you would think. Let's take a little break. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Ho, ho, ho! Oh. It's December, Tigers. That means festivities, decorating, spending time with friends and family, and the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. Don't miss your chance to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Once you apply your Tiger Dollars to your account, you will be able to use them for any TFNN product purchase instead of your credit card. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to purchase your Tiger Dollars. Don't miss your chance to receive up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase this holiday season. Every Tiger who purchases Tiger Dollars will also receive a complimentary TFNN Tiger mug with their purchase. Act fast, this sale ends December 17th. Happy Holiday Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I wanted to talk about natural gas because several people have asked me about the relationship between the two. We'll let Mike Moore tell us that. I imagine it's energy related, but here in Tucson, there are no propane gas tanks for your barbecue pit. They're around, but they just don't have any filled ones. They're all empty. And it's been three weeks, and it doesn't look like they're going to be coming anytime soon. But anyway, I wanted to show you the technical part. I mean, you know, this is not rocket science. There's your old low right here. You're coming down. Look what happens when you break this low. When you break this low, look at cascades to the 1 through 7, the 1.6.8. It keeps dropping. Then you look at the daily chart, and you want to get a picture of where you are. Look how you went through. You just went through the 61% retracement there at 259. There was your ABCD coming in. You thought that it would have held these levels, but it just kept cascading down. Now, the only other thing that you can look at is – if it doesn't hold the 618, you've got to look at the 78% level. So that's why you look at these numbers, because when they fail, they're telling you something that is pretty significant, uh, in my opinion. So let's just uh, remember that, okay? Now, someone's asked me a question here on Skype if I've, uh, I've given up on cattle. No, I've not given up on cattle, but what I have to do is I have to wait and see if it makes some type, because we broke through. Let's just get it up here again to show the folks because this was such a beautiful pattern and we did actually okay in the first part of this there's where we are but we've broken down now we could easily get to this level 161 that's only three cents away we've dropping we've dropping boy that's not very good from Darrow, indiana we we're already down five cents today in cattle so cattle prices are collapsing right into the holiday season folks so it's going to be merry christmas for the consumer and not americans not merry christmas for the uh Cattlemen, but by the time Christmas comes, it'll probably be trading up about 177, knowing how the cattlemen work. But this is what we're watching here. Had a nice pattern. It just failed. You just move on to the next one, just like the one with the uh, with the, pr the price of the uh, uh, Treasury bond. Same thing. So that's it. Now let's take a look here at the E mini S and P because we had a really nice rally today. This was our. We had an early morning trade early this morning. And uh, we sold it here at uh, 87. The market came down here to 80 to 80. And what we did with the report coming out, we moved our stop to the break-even point. The market continued higher up to 98. Now, all I do now is uh, look back at the 60-minute chart. And you'll see once we hit that 786, look what happened. It immediately dropped 
um, 30 handles. We dropped from 95 to 65. We haven't even bounced from that level as of yet. The biggest bounce only been about six or seven points. So this tells me, just by looking at this today, that we're getting ready to probably make another A, B, C, D pattern to the downside down in here, challenging these lows. Just like we said, there's our 382 of this whole move back. That, that has not changed. So what I'll be watching today for the rest of the day, I'll get this eight-minute chart up. So there was the first big move down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go in and I'm going to retest to see the 382s, okay? Now, there was the first 382 was right here at 92. Well, it went to 618, okay? 618. The next one didn't quite make the 382. You'll see, oh, it did it. Oh, my gosh, I didn't. it just did it in 15 minutes. But there was a 382 here. Then we broke down one more time, and I'm following it down as we're looking at it from high to low. And then we went right to the 50% level here, and now we're coming down. So we've got this much down. We're down uh, 30 handles, 34 handles from the high. So we should get a rally towards the end of the day because we've got a couple hours to go. I'm just going to mark this off. And I would like to see it get up here to 170. See if these old, uh, old highs right in here on the short term? 45.77. Watch that one, folks, because this is a legitimate trade for three reasons. Reason one, it's a 382 coming off of this high right here, okay? That's reason one. Reason two, get it up here. Below the opening price, here's the opening price. It's way below the opening price. So selling into a lower opening price is a good thing. So that's the, the second reason. Oh, now what is the third reason? I've got the third reason here, and I can't even remember what it was. 382 was the first reason. Below the opening was the second reason. Can't remember the third reason was. I should have written it down, but I didn't. So I have to remember what it was a little bit later. But those are two good reasons. And your risk here is really small between 77 and 87. So that's a 10-point stop. And if it's correct, just like these others, and if it's correct, we're going to be looking at something that would be looking at like this, which would be your A, B, C, D level down in here. And that would take it all the way down to 42 43. So that's a that's a good risk reward trade from my perspective. You're below the opening price, okay? You've made the 78% level right here. This is your 382 coming in here at 77 and your stop would be here at 87. So you're risking 10 points there to make from 78 to 42, which is 35 points, 3 to 1. That's what you look for when you're watching these things, okay? Now, sometimes they work. Sometimes you can see how cattle didn't work today, and certainly the bonds didn't work. Boy, the bonds were the big surprise to me because that was such an incredibly beautiful pattern, and it had $600 with it at one time, and I was feeling so confident. I knew the report was coming out, so I said, well, we'll put the stop in so you, you know, lock in at least two points, two ticks or $63, $63. and uh, as soon as the report came out, boom, away they went. And uh, that's it. But you can see here, this natural gas just keeps just keeps uh, cascading to the downside. So when you see this, folks, when you're trading and you see a market that is cascading down like this, uh, don't try to pick a bottom. It's really tough. Wait till it, you know, has some type of bottom. The cattle were, it was a legitimate trade. That was a legitimate trade. You had to try that. I mean, everything was there. It just didn't work. You know, that's it. And I missed the crude oil by a hair's breath, but that's the way it goes. Anyway, let's move on. We've got another one set up here pretty soon. We're going to have Mike Moore on pretty soon. He's going to have a lot of information on this uh, oil complex because it's got a lot going on in it. But here's where we are now uh, with the soybeans. This is January soybeans. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take this down to an hourly chart because this is what we want to be seeing. Well, let's go to a four-hour then we can see it better. Here's the number we're looking at here. This is at 1285, folks. We're at 1297 right now. That's what we're waiting to see. So what we're going to do now, this is a four hour. We're going to go down to the hourly chart. We've only got another minute. This is what I covered in the video this morning, is to look for this price down here at 1285. You've got a big ABCD coming in off this low right here, that high right here. That's just above the 382. Beautiful ABCD right here at 1285, drive one, drive two, drive three, fourth, fifth, sixth. Should be coming in either today or tomorrow. Tomorrow, of course, is um, Pearl Harbor Day, isn't it? Yep, I think so. 
Yep, it sure is. I'm, oh, that was very important. That was the day my, my father passed away at the age of 60 many, many years ago. Anyway, this is where we have the, the buy point here. It's around 12.85 into Jan Beans and with a stop of about 10 cents. So that's what we're paying attention to here. So we're going to be having a, uh, a guest coming on here in just a little bit, uh, Tom, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and we will be uh, chatting with him about what's going on in these markets. And, folks, he's been the grizzly bear. I think I've written – I've gotten eight emails from people saying, have Mike Moore on again because he's been very screwed and it's going down. So let's take a break here. We'll have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics on, so stay tuned, folks. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. DFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics on the line. Mike, are you there? How are you, Larry? Yes, thanks for having I'm me good, on. Mike. I am uh, glad you made a cameo appearance today because I it was very short. But I received, I believe, five emails from people that listen here at TFNN asking to have you on because of the fact that, you know, crude oil and ga I mean, gasoline is dropping so fast it must be uh, uh, going to go to the worthless camp pretty soon. But what's going on? Do you, uh, you've been bearish for a long time, but is there something out there that is causing all this other than the Saudis lowering prices? Or what is your uh, opinion here? 
Well, like I've said before, I'm strictly a technician, so <laughs> okay. I just look at uh, I look at uh, price patterns and whatnot because I feel that those um, will get you in on the right direction of the market 85 to 95 percent of the time uh, sooner than the fundamentals will avail themselves outside of uh, news-based events. But we can take a look. Let's. Uh, I'm going to share my screen here. Hopefully, we don't have any jungles coming in the background. <laughs> uh, all right. Can you all see my screen? Uh, yep, we're looking good, I think. Yes, there we go. We see, looks, this must be crude oil. Is that correct? Did you want to start with crude or start with natural gas? No, whatever you like to do. Natural gas is fine, crude. I mean, we want to, he we want to hear it all, Mike. Okay. Well, this is the big picture into crude. I mean, we've really been dropping here pretty hard and fast. Um, so there's two different dynamics. On an overall dynamic here from this peak here, I believe we're in the last stretch down here uh, and prone to hitting exhaustion levels down here before seeing a bullish correction. Now, within that, we had a full bearish um, structure here followed by a clean bullish correction. And this could also be the beginning of a new bearish structure similar to this. So this might be like an extended stretch down here before hitting one of the lower exhaustion levels. And we'll look at those in a minute. But if you recall, if you've been watching on the show, we held exhaustion up in here at 79.60. This is the analysis. Um, I mean, I've, obviously we've been bearish for much higher. I mean, I, I might as well go over just the overall for a second. The, um, The trade, we've been bearish since uh, the trade below 119.15, and we've seen 55.51 of pressure. So a number of different moves down. Those are all off hold now. They were on hold for quite a while when we had the major move up. And then the break below 94.15 has brought in 22.82. And then more recently down here, um, the trade below 83 even projects us downward 230 minimum 1210 plus maximum we've seen 1167 of that and then uh we've made that maximum now today we've seen another portion of that today as well uh just give me a second here and we oh here we go we held corrective exhaustion at 79.72 with the 79.60 high that was this high right here we held exhaustion and rolled over 827 into what now may be the beginning of a new bear structure or the last stretch of the higher time frame moved down from 90.27. And then the trade below 76.12, which is what we were talking about on our last, the last time I was on the show, we were trading right here. This was on November 30th. And I said on the show that right here, right now is a good place to sell the crude oil um, because we just broken below this formation right here. We chopped sideways for a day but or so and never took it never took this formation out decently on the downs uh, on the upside and we've just gotten hammered ever since um that projected this downward three dollars and twenty cents plus we've since seen four dollars and seventy nine and then a whole nother portion of that today another couple dollars to the downside uh i said i'd be aware of exhaustion at 7042 to 6991 we just took that right out today now the importance of t there's a lower Exhaustion level here at 68.54 to 67.90. But the importance of taking out this exhaustion level has a higher level meaning. That suggests that this market is likely going to come down here and test the wow. 64.37 area um, mm -hmm. before seeing that bullish correction. So that further um, pushes the argument of this being ex an extended move down of this last stretch of the higher time frame. Does that make sense? Yep, makes great sense, yes. Now, if we were to trade back up and take out these lows and take out this line up here, then that would change the picture. But right now, it's bearish. You have any questions on crude? Do you want me to go to our Bob or Heat? Or? Uh, let's, I have one question uh, from myself, and that is, uh, there's got to be some type of a news announcement. Isn't there out there that's making it drop this much, down 3%, 4% in one day? I mean, I never listen to the news. I guess you don't either, but... Uh, there must be something that must be out there that would uh, – well, I'll find out tonight when I watch uh, Bloomberg, you know, recap. So not a problem. Let's go on. Well, to, uh, our well the, the best news that you have is on your own show. It's called right here. Get short. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You flat. But maybe Bloomberg should watch us. No, I'm just kidding. 
But no, you were um, you were right. There, a lot of people were following that, uh, Mike. So you you deserve an accolade here because believe me, when they go against you, they're going to let you know. They'll start throwing rotten vegetables. I got a whole refrigerator full of them over here, so I know what it's like when you're wrong. You know, and you're not going to be right all the time. But you've certainly been right here for the last three or four weeks. We've been right quite a bit, but three or four weeks you've been saying that it's going lower. And it certainly had, look at the, let's take a look at the Arbaugh because that's the one that's really collapsing. I can't believe that we've got uh, gasoline uh, almost under $2 a gallon here uh, on this chart. So let's take a look at the Arbaugh if we could. By the way, I just want to apologize. I know what I just said came across as being arrogant. And, um, no, no, no. We no don't don't you're an oil trader, for God's sake. No, no, you're no, supposed no, to be arrogant. <laughs> no, I don't, I, don't, I don't ever want to come across like that. No, I, I, was, I understand. I was, really just saying, I was really just saying that to lift up Emphasize. to the watch, yeah. to, to, to your audience, the veracity of technicals, because I feel a lot of time people are misled into looking at all the news out there and looking at all the fundamentals out there. And they're always way behind the ball, always way behind the game plan. So we're, really what I was just trying to lift up was the technical disciplines, that's all. So forgive me if I came across in any way that came across uh, arrogant okay. or boastful or whatever. That's not, not me at all. Okay. So. Okay. All I anyway. want you to do now is to say three Hail Marys and continue. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I've done my prayers already So this morning. So. Good. Okay. You ready? So we're on to our Bob. Uh, here we've been bearish as well. I won't go back over all this, otherwise it'll take too much time. But um, most recently we fell back below this formation right here, which I said should bring in pressure. Then we fell below this other formation right here, which I said should bring in pressure. And then we took out another formation today as well. Uh, those are the failure back below 219.16, more a decent pressure. We came off 11 cents plus a whole bit more today. We trade below 217.44. Just brought in 9.28 cents, and again, the additional piece today. And uh, so these are all kind of in the same kind of picture here, where they're they they're all in, you know, a macro structure here, where this is likely the last le last stretch down. I think it's going to be an extended stretch, but in the same token, right here we had a completed bearish structure, a completed bullish correction against it, and so this is now a new lower time frame bearish structure down. Okay, we got to pay a few bills, Mike. So stay with yeah. us, and we'll be right back with Mike Moore and more analytics, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics out of Tennessee. And, uh, Mike, let's go ahead with the next one. Do you want to take a look at it? And this is uh, – are we still on our, Bob? Uh, no, we just finished that out. I was just going to jump the heat unless you had any questions on it. Okay, no, let's, we're ready to go. Let's go. Okay, so the heat, uh, we held exhaustion in a 311.71 with a 312.47 high. We rolled over 50.75 cents. We've seen another portion of that today. Um, and we have some lower time frame – uh, projections to the downside also i just wanted to point something out just to uh, the audience so this general structure this is a daily charter this ge general structure here is a bullish trending structure this is a bearish trending structure but in my opinion this is a corrective sort of structure what do i mean by that what i mean by that is i think that this is eventually going to start out a whole new bull structure so this because we have these overlapping lows like this, and it's very similar to, just to give you another example, to the S&Ps. So we had this long bullish structure in here. We came off into a bullish structure, but you know we were overlapping these lows, overlapping these lows, and then we finally started into a whole new bull structure again. So I think that that's likely what we're gonna see in the heating oil. Um, we're just looking for some lows down here, it may consolidate for a little bit, I'm dropped down on a lower time frame chart. We had held exhaustion up here, I think on the 30th, uh, which was right in here. That that was also a time I'd said it was a sale. We just broke below this formation. So we held exhaustion, broke below this formation, broke below this formation, and that's really what's brought in, from a technical perspective, a lot of the pressure that we're looking for. Um, and we have exhaustion levels here at 254.21 to 250.62, and then lower ones at uh, 23380 to 228 even. Do you want to look at the natural gas? Do you have any questions? On oh, that? yes. Or Everybody's interested in natural gas. It's down 20 bucks today. That's a big move. Okay. So natural. Okay. We've been bearish on a much higher level from. Um... Hold on a second. From 820.80, you've seen $6.26 of that so far. And then I said that um, trade below 499.30 projects this downward $2.27 minimum, $3.70 plus maximum, worth $3, $3.047 into that. And then on a lower time frame, which we've been updating the past couple of weeks, trade below uh, 346.90. Brought in 820 ticks of pressure, and we've seen some more of that today. Now, this morning or overnight, I put that on hold because we had broken above a minor formation right here. Only saw a quick pop, held it again, popped again, and now the decent break back below it renews bearishness and suggests we're heading down to some of these lower possible exhaustion levels. We got one right here at 250.70, and then. Uh, a lower one here at 195 to 191.50. So yeah, it just keeps keeps coming off like that. This was the only uh, opportunity I really had to sort of grind sideways, but back in the bear. So hey, here's a good example of me being wrong right here. Well, it popped a little bit, but when it broke down below here, it renewed the bearishness. 
Okay. And one other thing I'd want to point out is this Arabob heat spread turned weak, turned bearish yesterday, which means mm -hmm. that the Arabob is weak relative to the heat or the heat strong relative to the Arabob. <coughs> I wrote about that in this is where these spreads help you that a lot of people don't pay attention to in the energies. If you can see right here, um, this is important to anybody trading this. Uh, I'd say can you that blow I that. Can you blow that inner that the small chart up so we can see it? There, that's what we want to see. Yes, let's take a look at that. Okay, so I put all these bullish trades on hold, and I said the trade below negative fifty two forty warns of decent pressure. And negative fifty two forty is right where this line came in right here. And to give you an idea, you know, being short the RBOB today as opposed to being the heating as opposed to being short the heating oil would have made you twelve hundred dollars more per lot being short the RBOB rather than the heating oil. And then we look at the cracks here to understand which of these is strong. I had said that the heating oil turned bullish yesterday. And we're up, well, we're only up nine ticks, but the RBOB crack had turned bearish, and that's down 75. So yesterday in the podcast I put out in the evenings, I said that the RBOB was the weakest out of the three, um, with the heat being the strongest. And you can see how here how much more, how much you would have been up $1,200 more than the heat. And you'd be up seven hundred and fifty dollars more than you would if you were short the crude oil. Well, it's a huge amount of premium that you get if you have that spread working for you. If if you're trading the energies and you don't understand what's going on in those spreads, you are leaving an enormous amount of money on the table. And that's why, as part of my analysis, I don't talk about these much on the show here, but I do these spreads, even though they're very thin. Not so much for the cracks themselves, but for what they tell you in the outrights, which of the three, either crude or its two products, to be short or long on any given move. Because the products will lead the crude oil in direction 85 to 90 percent of the time, which is a very real leading indicator if you want to look at it that way. Wow. Mike, I have a question. Uh, yeah. You're going to write a book about how to handle some of this stuff. This is great information. I think people will be interested in stuff like this on a, on a book basis. <laughs> I never. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe one day I will. <laughs> if I ever get yeah, so well, I'm, I'm busy. You've written a number of good books, Larry. Yeah, I'm well, you know, I, I, when you years. live alone, you know, you're forced to write them. I've got nothing else to do. <laughs> Well, I like writing anyway because I give a little information here or there. Let's take a look at a couple other markets. Uh, we've had this huge break in gold. What are you seeing in the gold market now, Mike? Okay, so the gold we just turned around uh, two days ago. Let me um, now let me just back up because the last time we were on the show, I pointed out a higher time frame uh, thing in the in the gold in the gold weekly. If you recall on the show last time, this is a weekly chart right here. We have broken above this this key area right in here at uh, at um, no that's not it yeah two hundred five seventy two. Um, hold on a second. At excuse me, twenty fifty seven thirty. I got to get my nomenclature right, and uh, we rallied about uh, nine thousand five hundred a contract. And then we failed back down through that. So that takes the bullishness of that off. And then on a lower time frame on the 60 minute charts. And so, by the way, just for anybody who looks, you know, if you're viewing this and you're looking at all this writing, you're like, what is all that stuff, right? I've said mm -hmm. before that a lot of it is on hold most of the time. But here it says on 8 16 18, the break above 1179 to. 1183, Warner, deep, renewed strength. So this sentence has literally been updated every day since August 16, 2018. Okay. okay. Mike, we, we've got we got to go now, buddy. We'll have you on again soon, so stay tuned. We'll be back. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much for being with us, Mike. We really appreciate you, it. Sir. Mike Moore, folks. More analytics. We'll be right back. Ho, ho, 
ho! It's December, Tigers. That means festivities, decorating, spending time with friends and family, and the TFNN Tiger Dollar Holiday Sale. Don't miss your chance to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Once you apply your Tiger Dollars to your account, you will be able to use them for any TFNN product purchase instead of your credit card. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to purchase your Tiger Dollars. Don't miss your chance to receive up to a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase this holiday season. Every Tiger who purchases Tiger Dollars will also receive a complimentary TFNN Tiger mug with their purchase. Act fast, this sale ends December 17th. Happy Holiday Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I want to end the show here with the cattle because this was such a perfect setup. It just didn't work. I mean, everything said it should have stopped at around 66.50. You risk about $600, and of course that was gone. We're only 50 points off the bottom. You'll notice we've had a almost a six-point drop in cattle today. The last time we had that was back uh, right before the eclipse, back here on the 24th, uh, 23rd of uh, October. We dropped five cents, and then we rallied. We rallied 78. We rallied nine cents in cattle, and then down again. You see, had another big down day. And then a rally, and of course, we've got another big down day here. And as we said, when we were talking just a little while ago, I said it appears that we're most probably going to be heading down to 61. That's what it looks like it wants to go to. And folks, <laughs> well, excuse me, that says 63. And we just made it. That's 63.09. And the low today has been 62.50. Well, uh, with this type of action today, we're probably going to start getting a rally. But this is uh, something that uh, I... I this three drive pattern means a lot to me, and I'll take the loss, I'll move on, do something else, and that's, uh, I mean, not for, for other than trading, but I'll just look at other things. And we are looking at a bunch of other things that look look pretty good. And uh, remember now, we've started, like what Mike Moore just said, we could be looking at $55 uh, crude oil and, uh, you know, gasoline easily under $1.80 uh, in, uh, in, in, in uh, gasoline. And here it's... Uh, it's dropped 65 cents a gallon this week here in Tucson alone, which is uh, really a huge, huge amount. But anyway, we should be near a bottom here. 
uh, in cattle, what I will do, I'll give it a day or two and see if it holds some type of an action here. Because when we do get a rally, it'll be substantial. But uh, some of these rallies are only five, six cents. I thought it was going to rally all the way up here, about 12 cents after this one came in, but it didn't. So you just uh, move on and uh, you know, not worry about the next one. Also, we're going to be watching this gold market very closely. I want to get it up here because we're getting close to a bottom, folks. We'll be right back tomorrow with our guest. Is going to be none other than Wolf Trader himself, Shane Smolian. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.